we are back guys we are back with another video and i appreciate you guys sticking and rocking with me guys we are uh slowly going up up and up on all platforms honestly besides instagram i really don't post much on instagram so it really doesn't matter if that goes up or any anyway to me personally i think instagram is for uh celebrities and girls with big butts or big boobs that's that's honestly what instagram has kind of turned into um TikTok, on the other hand, we're slowly going up. I feel like TikTok, you can actually give out good information. Yes, you can. Uh, it's a lot of the girls and all that, the dances and all that stuff. But it's not, it doesn't seem like it's as prevalent as Instagram is. It's, you know, maybe that's just me. But without further ado, let's look at this video. We have Double Standards Compilation by uh, It's Complicated Channel. Uh, best of Complications, uh, Best of Compilations Channel. <laughs> Sorry, a little tongue twister there. Uh, but this one's pretty interesting because uh, me personally, I feel like most people, uh, I don't think people really have a problem with double standards until the double standard does not, you know, is not in their best interest. And I think that's on men and women. Um, so let's just get right into this video and uh, let's see what, what little two cents we can add to it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure most people have already seen this video about this guy blowing up because this girl videotaped him and he was hot. And yeah, don't get me wrong, he's pretty hot. But I just wanted to remind you guys about double standards. Like, if a guy were to just film a girl working, he would get comments like, Oh my god, he is such a creep. Oh my god, he's a child predator, blah blah blah. But if a girl does it, all the girls are like, Oh my god, he's so hot. Oh my god. And then they end up finding his Instagram and like stalking him to the point where he has to literally become famous and is known as this guy from this workplace like just all i'm saying is just look at the double standards that the society has yeah that is very true um uh, i think girls are allowed to get away with a lot more when it comes to uh pretty much anything uh in this instance i guess the, uh, a girl saw this guy that she found attractive so instead of walking over to the guy and saying hi blah 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 uh maybe even trying to get his number or whatever she chose to videotape him and post him on social media it went viral um and it you know that will cause other girls to try to look him up and everything and uh i'm sure the guy is probably not you know unless he has a girlfriend or something I'm sure he's not really too bothered by it, but I think the thing we're trying to say is, I mean, so many girls will, I mean, they'll call a guy a creep simply for smiling at her. If she doesn't find him attractive and he smiles at her, she feels she feels almost assaulted. So it's like, we gotta just, I, I just want women, I'm not saying that women have to do change anything, but at least like acknowledge it and acknowledge that if a guy is truly not being like offensive or something, Man, don't don't act like a man being attracted to you and you not being attracted back to him is is assault or something. Like, come on, ladies, come on. Just think about it. You already said you're abusive, so I like hitting. Why is why? Why? You, okay? <laughs> you don't want no soft. That I, I don't want no soft. So that's why y'all like hitting. Yeah. But how did, so you are, so he can hit you back? No. So you me. If you hit me back, we're fighting. Him, so you so me. So you, you not winning that battle, not talking Listen, about Listen, I'm I'm kicking your. B I'm not playing. I'm doing everything. We punch you with something. It's not gonna hurt. That you. didn't look like it hurt. That video. She he, he's about to cry. Nah, he, he said like, this, and his he put his eyes <laughs> is watering. <laughs> But wow. why? So wait, wait, first of all, nobody's doing all that. I'm sorry, you got you got to get dragged or something. It's not so he should have dragged her. Yes, like, he could have just he could plus something, something calm. Wow. That ain't crazy. What? That ain't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> For a guy that is. Oh man, that's a big one. Um, and I think uh, I see it a lot with African American women, but honestly, it's all it's all women. It's all women. I've seen many videos of white girls, Latina girls, Asian girls, black girls hitting their man and, and just getting getting irate. It was a video of I want to say it was a it was a at a Pittsburgh Steelers game when um a black guy in his in in this a black guy was standing up and this white lady was like yelling at him, putting her finger in his face and everything, and her husband was kind of like trying to tell both of them to sit down a little bit, but it looked like she he was more focused on the black guy. And then the white woman slaps the black man. No, no. If you want equality, you got to understand that with that, 
comes equal retaliation. I am not a proponent saying to hit a woman at all, but I will never tell a man never to defend himself when it comes to a woman. Why do women think that since they're a woman that their strikes don't hurt or something like it's not still a fist like it's still not an arm traveling with inertia to physically harm you it doesn't matter if it was a little kid or a woman a punch is a punch now that doesn't mean go haul off and body slam or put her in the headlock blah blah blah, blah. but women understand that not every man is just gonna let you hit them and neither should they allow it honestly they shouldn't allow it but my my thing is women if you can't defend yourself against a man stop talking to him very aggressively stop trying to hit him because everybody doesn't follow the rules like you want them to because in in the fact that women think that that violence that violence is only between a man to someone else it it eliminates this whole idea that they're trying to put that uh, men and women are equal. Men and women are not equal in anything physical, anything, nothing. I don't I don't care. We are not equal on any physical playing field. You will have those one offs of a woman that's like six, five and a guy is super small. But even then, even then, I personally think that man can still do high damage to that woman it's just we have just different bone densities it's it's our our strength level is completely different ladies that is not an arena you're gonna win with men and that's violence please 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 understand your physical capabilities and please understand that not every man is gonna believe in not hitting a woman if she is hitting him don't play with fire you might get burned. Is in a relationship to be interested in other girls, that's just cheating. But if a girl who's in a relationship becomes interested in another guy, it often means that she's not getting what she needs to get from that relationship. Are her parents brother and sister? Can you please leave now? Oh. Uh... Ladies, that's what you call a narcissist. That right there, that's what you call a narcissist. When she does bad, that means that the other person deserved it. If someone does bad to her, they're an evil person. Ladies, that is called narcissism. Stop trying to label everybody a narcissist when honestly, a lot of you ladies, when you talk, you show more narcissism than any man I've really heard. Let's continue though. Oh, now I get it. She's a moron. Emotional damage. Excuse me, sorry. Your eyes are really pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, do you want to maybe have sex with me? Uh, I have a girlfriend. Oh, you didn't sorry. seem too sure about that answer. I do. <laughs> that was, uh... That was, I mean, like, women understand that that is so out of the ordinary for a man. That guy probably felt like she was trying to set him up or something, like trying to, trying to get him robbed or something. Because, like, come on. That is just not how this thing works. <laughs> he, he looked around like, her brother about to come rob me or something. This looked like a setup. Hey, and, bro, and guys, I've seen this story many a time. If, if you in L.A. or New York or something... A woman walks up to you and that aggressive trying to get you to go somewhere or Vegas or Miami, any of these big city places, just know that a lot of robbers will use women to try to get you to lower your guard and they will bust into your room and take everything for it. Just look it up. There's plenty of stories. No, I've never dealt with that. I've never been in a situation like that. I've seen many people, many videos of guys talking about how they were robbed, felt like they were about to get killed because a woman was walking up to them just like that girl was and they went for it and something bad happened. Be careful out there, guys. Personally, there's no such thing as a bi man because to me, gay, when you're gay, that means you have you attracted to men. So you, even if you fucking with a girl, you still attracted to men because you will go back to a man. 
But a girl can be biased. Bro, that's no. Different, bro. That's yeah, bro. It's the same bro. concept, just no. a different gender. The same, bro. Nah, the same concept. Just, bro. I, if you like, bro. hey, that's a double standard right there. That's a double standard. That's a double standard, but it's like a known thing. It's a double standard. That's definitely a double standard, but I mean, you just gotta ask, ask, go out and ask any woman. Would you date a guy who you know has sex with men? 99% no, definitely not. Definitely not, definitely not, definitely not. You ask men, would you, would you date a woman who has had sex or has dated women in the past? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, 99% of men? Are going with it. Yeah, no, yeah. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean oh that nay nothing nothing uh nothing went in her. It was just uh the tongue and blah 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 blah. Uh men don't feel men don't feel like that that even counts. So that is a double standard that I think uh it it only exists because men are okay with it. And it's like my thing is it's like I would never shame a woman for not being okay with that. It's just like, come on. Come on. Like, are you serious? Double standards when it comes to men and women. I'll give you the example. If an older woman is looking um, sexy, then we name her with a title called M I L F. MILF. Yeah? Now that title starts from Mother I'd Like That's to. A fuck. Okay. <laughs> Why is there not got a F I? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Because it sounds peedy for a 30 or 40 year old man to be looking at a 16 year old girl, it looks wrong. But it's not wrong with a woman of who's 40 years old to woman, be looking at a 16 to 17 year old kid same. because she's got a nice cute title to go with it. You said it's not the same. I think that's a little different. I don't know. Why do people always try to use examples of like teenagers? My thing is, is that I feel like uh, MILF or whatever, I think that really is like more women who are 30 plus have kids and like a college like a college age guy is uh sleeping with her or she's attracted to college age guys i mean that's it's still legal but like my thing is is that the vice versa happens all the time you just call them sugar daddies it's that it's it's older guys who are sleeping with younger women not 17 16 nothing like that not no chris D'Elia type stuff but women that are actually of age of age and the the women are getting something for it. it's like women are the controllers of sex women are the controllers of sex men control relationship women control sex and for a a for an older man to be attracted to a woman that's 19 20 21 when she's at her sexual peak the peak of her of her sexual attractiveness that is not no pedo. What? A pedophile is someone who is messing with children. Children. And I'll even call it a pedophile if he's messing with somebody who is under the legal age of consent. I think there's some some kind of strange, weird gray area in that. But like to look at a child in a sexual way, like an actual child, like I'm talking about all the way up to you know high school age like that's that's soup that's super weird pedophile stuff super weird anybody that's under under the age of consent is super weird but to call a man who's 30 plus that's dating a 21 year old like, come on man that is honestly a woman that calls him a pedophile is a woman that's insecure and upset that that man is with an attractive woman men men throughout history throughout history have always loved women that are that are that are at that age because you're at your most sexual uh you're you're at your sexual peak and it's like come on anybody with a brain can see it you can look at it it's like men usually come into their come into their own later in life and a lot of women say that men that are in their 30s plus um are typically the most attractive but if you ask men women that are in their 20s are the most attractive that is just how it works that is just how god has made it it's not pedo, this, that, and the third it is not. It is, it's pretty normal. I'm going to do one more, though. Double standards that I hate that women do, part one. They flirt with guys and say it's harmless, but accuse you of cheating. They overlook your needs and desires, but demand you pay attention to theirs. They won't tell you where they're going, but they demand to know your whereabouts. 
that is uh i've seen that happen with a lot of chicks and i think uh, a lot of women have to have to fix that um but yeah that that is that is something that i've noticed just in general and i it's just like in life period it seems like uh women have so many outlets you know to to share how they feel um and even in the confines of a relationship i find that a lot of women um want their husband to be all ears to listen to all their problems but they have a problem or they don't really know how to do the same thing for a man they view a man as someone who is like who is stoic who shouldn't who shouldn't be uh be rattled by anything that happens emotionally but it's like many men are not even taught from when they're a little kid how to deal with anything emotionally so it's like i think women have to be more understanding in the fact that men go through stuff too and we're and it's like we have so much pent up inside of us because we're not even allowed to show how we feel about a lot of things it's like so many men are afraid to even maybe they have a financial problem or something like that many men are even afraid to even tell their wife about that financial problem because they feel like she won't love them anymore it's like women are able to get love and affection simply for being a woman simply for being a woman but as men many of us we don't get none of that unless we produce unless we are valuable to the world um and that can that can cause that can cause a mental rift in a lot of men and it can cause a rift in a lot of people's relationships so i think men have to be more comfortable in speaking but women have to make your man feel comfortable and feel loved enough to even be able to share that and to know that once he does share how he feels that you don't feel attacked especially if he's sharing something about you women you have to understand that if you want your relationship to go further you have to be able to be receptive of what constructive criticism a man may have don't think that just because a man is speaking about how you make him feel that that's an attack on you because you are allowed to tell him how he makes you feel all the time. Just know that these things have to go both ways, guys. It has to go both ways. That we, we just seen from these videos that there are many double standards. Many double standards. But it's going to be up to you in the confines of your relationship to understand that everything that you want to receive, you better be willing to give. Hey. Guys, this has been me, Jamar Anthony. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at Jamar Anthony. And feel free to holler at me on uh, Twitch.tv at SSJLando. I appreciate you guys watching today. Go watch some football. Who do you guys have in the uh, making to the Super Bowl? Me personally, in my heart of hearts, I strongly feel like it's going to end up being the Bengals um, in the Rams. But we'll know after today. I'm actually about to go watch it right now, guys. So until next time, peace. Ooh.